Hey guys, Jack Squad, YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Listen, I got a little time today, so I want to, you know, talk about my show. You know, I said I wasn't going to talk about it no more because I can't, uh, the Kimmy situation is heartbreaking to me, right? But um, I watched it and I actually watched the one from last week, so I'm going to talk about it, right? Um, don't forget to make it happen for yourself. Got to do that, right? And uh, this is the holiday season. And for everybody in Georgia, please go vote Tuesday. I forgot to say that in my other videos. Please go vote Tuesday. You cannot let a retard, he's a retard. His IQ, I know, is very low. You cannot let this man get into office in the Senate. He couldn't even... I, I, listen... The Herschel Walker thing, I can, I don't even understand. Okay, I know I know the Republicans pick somebody that they can uh, puppet and lead and guide and do what they tell them to do. But this dude, this dude, y'all ain't even making it. Y'all y'all ain't even trying to cover up that you want somebody you can pick, you can guide. But listen, I'm gonna go on. I'm I'm gonna maybe talk about this tomorrow. I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. I'm gonna talk about Tuesday. I don't know, because I can go on and on about that. Because it's like, I know this guy, some, listen, white folks been telling him what to do since he was a teenager. You know, he's a Heisman Trophy winner. And from there, he, they've been telling him what to do, I'm sure. Right? Anyway, don't forget, if you're in Georgia, don't forget to vote Tuesday for the runoff. Anyway, uh, I almost forgot what I'm trying to talk about. Love marriage Huntsville, y'all. Hey, like, share, comment, subscribe. All my social media stuff is down in the description box as well as my email, my cash app, right? So listen, y'all, I watched it, you know? I watched it, it wasn't as uh, traumatic as I thought it would be. That's that's why I stopped watching it, the trauma, right? And uh, um, they are on the trip. Now I'm gonna take last week's and, and, and yesterday's, I'm gonna talk about them both. Cause I am very proud of Mel and Martell, I must say. Because, you know, they've been on some trips and they was having knockdown, drag out fights, right? They went on a trip and it appeared to be pleasant. You know, uh, you know, last night's episode, uh, Martel wanted to have a conversation. But, you know, sometimes he wanted to have, sometimes, listen, I'm like that. I'm like, me. I don't need to have a conversation. That, that's back then. We don't need to talk about it. I, you know, I'm like that too, right? Because um, when you work on yourself or you get over whatever was happening, I don't want I don't want to talk about it no more. You did it, you did it. I felt like this and that's that, right? But anyway, so the Destin trip continues. They had a chef. They had a chef. Um and now this is all on Mel's money. I guess Mel and Carlos King and Love Mary DC. Martel didn't have nothing to do with this, right? He was a guest. Him and his mama. You know, and I was wondering as I was watching it, like, where is the other woman? Uh where is Mel's mama? But she came later on, right? Because I was really looking forward to the to seeing that interaction with uh, both of the mamas, right? Um, so they sat around the table and discussed favorite memories. They was really doing some family stuff for their kids. I commend them for making their kids happy and creating memories for their children. I commend them. I commend them. I really do. And Martell, you can see that Martell misses his family. And not only does he miss his family, he misses the family dynamic. He miss his ex-wife. He wants her back. And he's hopeful about getting her back. I don't care what nobody said. Right? He misses her. Now, do I think that ship is sailed? Absolutely. I do. He would have to do something so marvelous and it would take and it would have to be over time. Right? If if, if she don't get with Buddy. Uh, now uh Martel invited uh Marceau and Tisha. Mel was a little upset. Right? She was a little upset because she, this was her family, the family thing. You know, she don't really like Tisha. But I must say, they sat there like grown folk and had fun. They did. They did. And Tisha didn't seem like she had no animosity. She was interacting. She was asking questions. They was talking. They even played a game. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, okay, y'all. Okay. Right now, Marceau, you know, men are, are to me, you know, Marceau is a chauvinist. He's uh, to be pretty much level headed. 
more so than everybody else, right? Except for maybe Kimmy and Maurice. Um, but um, they, he, he said, "Listen, dog, I want to." When they went, to separated. The men went somewhere, and Keisha, Tisha, and uh, Mel was down there talking. He said, "I want to know how did you, how did you guys do this? You know, it's wonderful. You know, what what happened?" And uh, excuse me. Uh, now. Marceau asked the question, and 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 Martel simply said that he's doing this for his kids, and he, it's time to move on. And he he realizes, uh, what's the word that he used? He regrets. He has regrets. He has regret. Uh, now while they were down there playing a the game, I put down here. Tisha was so phony. It seemed like Tisha was putting on. Maybe she was. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. Now that I'm looking back on it. Uh, Mel says she's tired of people trying to put them together, uh, and they're doing this for the kids. You know, uh, I liked it. You know, I really did. I liked it. Um, I thought it was wonderful that they could all be together. Martell's mom said this was the best time of her life. She's going to always remember it because they always used to take family vacations together. Um, I, I thought it was wonderful. Like, I don't, because I don't know if I... I don't know if I could have done that that soon, right? Even though you do make sacrifices for your kids, I don't know if I could, would have wanted to been in his presence. And you can clearly see that Martel regrets what happened. He also, uh, well, I'm skipping ahead, but he also, he also said that he would like for them to be able to do that if, when they get mates and spouses that they still could go on family trips. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how another black man will be around another black man. I don't know how that's going to work. But it could. It could, you know. But you have to be all the way over those feelings for it to work. Right? And Mel told Tisha, she said, I done worked through some things. Basically, what she was trying to say, I done cried and cried and cried and prayed and cried and I'm over it. Okay. Um, now, then they cut to Kimmy's cutting her hair. I didn't know Kimmy had such long hair like that, such good hair, long, good hair like that. And she was cutting her hair because she was, was getting ahead of the chemo taking her hair out. She said she didn't want to be in the shower and see her hair falling down. And I get that. I get that. And that's probably, you know, I get that, right? Um, and she had a lot of it. She had a lot of it. And what I noticed is Maurice, the pain that he is in and the supportiveness that he is giving. I, my hat is off to Maurice, right? Because a lot of times black men don't know what to do or how to do in certain situations like that. And so they don't do anything, but he's right there with her, holding her, hugging her, telling her how pretty she is, um, uh, giving her constant support and confidence right i really really like that like i said y'all i i like these people when they first when the show first started before martel did all that cheating and carrying on making babies and stuff i was so happy about these black folks doing well black couples doing well right um her friend came over and what was so odd the friend looked like kimmy the friend looked like a slightly younger friend, like she could have been kimmy's little sister right uh, she came over to console her. And then Kimmy told the story of how she met Maurice, right? She advanced on him. Maurice was a barber. And she saw him on Instagram or somewhere. And uh, she flirted with him. And the rest is history, right? Uh, uh yeah, she tells that story. She said she stalked him. It was Facebook, and she told him she had a son. Now, while the 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 the, bar, the, 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 the beautician came over to cut her hair, she said, "I want Maurice. I'm Maurice, I want." She put everybody in it. It was such a lovely moment. She said, "Maurice, I want you to get my kitchen and line me up." So once the girl cut, then he lined her up. Right, and he stood there. So it was her friend holding her hand, the 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 beautician. And Maurice. It was a moment, right? And these are the moments that I said I didn't want to see, right? Because I'm such a crybaby, right? But it was very moving. 
It was very moving, right? Um, that she has the support that she has. Um, and then we cut to Marceau and Martel. Mm -mm, not Marceau and Martel. Marceau and Maurice. Marceau and Maurice, right? I don't know. Was that that episode? Yeah, I think it was. Um, well, let me, before I do that, uh, Martel puts the blame on himself. He says he wished he had taken more chance and more time with the marriage. He's very regretful. He's saying that, okay, Melanie wasn't doing the things he wanted her to do, but he said he asked herself, why isn't she doing what I want her to do? It was on him. That was big. That was big. And he said it more than once on the episode. That was very big of him. And uh, uh, Tisha, when Tisha asked Mel how she did it, she said she had to be by herself so she can heal and think by herself, right? Uh, I got here in capital letters, Martel is really feeling the pain of what he did. Um, I don't know if it was the first episode because I put it all together or, this, or, this, or last night's episode, but I saw a very another very touching moment with... Uh, the brothers, uh, Marceau and Maurice. Maurice was telling Marceau that Kimmy uh, had cancer. And Marceau said, well, Tisha told me about that, but she said it, it might be. She's waiting on the, you know, on the prog prognosis. He said, no, it's real. It's a thing. And Mar Marceau looked like he was about to cry. And then they were talking. And then they hugged and cried together as brothers. It was, it was a very touching moment, right? I've never seen Marceau that vulnerable, right? It was a very touching moment. And it shows, even though Marceau talked a lot of stuff about his brother and all that, that he has love for Kimmy and his brother. It was very, The whole show was very touching, y'all. It was very warm. It was very warm, right? Um, and I'm glad that the producers shifted the direction of it because with Juan, they was going backwards, right? Um... Uh, they didn't show Lou and Tiffany. They didn't show Destiny. They didn't show Stormy and her husband. What's his name? Courtney. I think his name is Courtney. All right. So Van finally arrived to Destiny. And uh, this is their last day. And they go on a yacht. Um, uh, Mel, Mel spent some coins on this trip, right? They go on a yacht, and then it, as they were getting ready to leave, it, it started raining. So they sitting around on the boat, and then the sun came out. God spoke, and the sun came out, right? And so they went on that trip, and they were talking with... See, I always knew... I, I thought Martel was the only child. For whatever reason, they don't show Martel's sibling. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but she said, my kids. So he does have a sibling, right? Because I've been wondering that. They never show... They never talk about him, uh, you know, him or her. I don't know if it's him or her. Uh, uh, and uh, she she was saying she did the best she could. She was a single parent. She did the best she could. And she likes the way that even though they're divorced, Martell and Mel are still trying to do things as a, as a family for the kids, right? Then they get into a discussion about uh, – how Martel reacts to things. And Mel was basically saying it's his mother's fault, right? You know, when people grow up and whatever they are, a lot of times they do blame the mother, right? For how this person is. But I'm here to say, you can, you mothers are at fault for certain things. Because we don't come with a, uh, you know, something to tell us what to do. Except for what you see or what you've been exposed to. But a lot of times folks grow up and they be who they are. And you have nothing to do with who they are, Right? Uh, now, when it's good, maybe you did. But a lot of times when they act out and do stuff, you, you have no control over that. You don't. Um, so then they go out after the boat. They go out to, di to dinner. Martel wants to have a conversation with Mel by herself at a table, right? Mel, matter of fact, when it was on the boat, Mel said, you, Martel said, you've been throwing shots. But I haven't said anything because I want everything to be nice. I'm telling y'all, I see a lot of growth and change in Martel. Marceau said the same thing. And I'm guessing Marceau and Martel are closer than Maurice and Martel, right? Um, and Martel wants to talk about what went wrong and what he could have did better and how he made. 
Mel's past that. She doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk about it, right? Martell didn't really understand. And then Mel was saying, like, you gaslighting me and stuff like that. So he stopped, and then he apologized, right? So um, I think all in all, it was a good trip, and it was a, a, a trip of healing, and, and I hope it's a trip of they can have more like this, right? Um, they can have more like this, even though it's different when you see your ex with somebody, right? That That's going to be a different sort of feeling, different kind of conversation. And I think in order for it to be smooth, both parties have to be with somebody, right? They have to be, they, they can't go on a, they can't go on a family trip if they got, if they can't bring somebody on a family trip, you know, not either one of them, unless they both have a somebody to bring. Because that's going to be awkward and weird and all of that, right? Um, and um, Martel was telling Marceau that he, the reason why he had that conversation with Mel, because he wants to know where he went wrong. I guess he don't understand that cheating is wrong, right? And he's saying that he should have did more then he wouldn't have had to cheat. Mel would have did what she was supposed to do. Then he wouldn't have had to cheat. I don't know. Uh, Martel says he wants to grow and he wants his next marriage to be successful. And I get it. Now, he's talking all the right talk, right? And I, as I was watching this, I was wondering, how does Coleslaw, a.k.a. Side Piece, a.k.a. Ariane Curry feel? She says she don't watch it, but I know that's a lie. I know that's a lot. Human nature got you watching it, right? To know that this man that you cheated on, had abortions for, finally had a baby for, don't you ain't the one. Anyway, it was a good show. I so I I'll probably watch it next week. It's just that y'all, I I am an empath and I can't absorb but so much, right? And then it started affecting me like it's me. And let me tell y'all, I didn't know what an empath was until maybe a year or so ago, right? I always knew I took on other people's feelings. Always knew that, didn't know it was a name for it, right? So I have to be careful. Now that I'm older, especially, and I'm a little more wiser, I have to be careful what I consume and absorb into my spirit, right? Um, I have to be careful of the people that I'm around. You know what I'm saying? And being in, uh, going through COVID, this is the third year. This is the end of the third year of COVID, right? Yeah. Because I've been in Charlotte two years. I've been here a year. Third year. March would be three years. Um, I have seen how certain people or certain situations that I'm not around, I'm a much more at peace, right? So I want to maintain that. I want to maintain that for me, my soul, my sanity, I want to maintain that, right? But anyway, y'all, uh, we go. We still praying for Kimmy. Um, and like I said, this was taped be before, so she's doing fine so far. Um, anyway, y'all, make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah, make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and um, everybody have a great day.